what's up everybody this is Josh from Mr. Scent Narrative today I'm doing a comparison video so I have Tom Ford's ombre leather parfum and I have Tom Ford's original ombre leather here's the sample as you can see so I'm gonna compare the two and tell you which one that I like at the end of it so here we go I'm gonna spray one on each hand so that way I can get like the opening and then I'll come back later and do like a dry down and tell you which one lasted longer and which one did better because I'm gonna take it out today and let people smell so yeah all right so the first one I'm gonna spray on my left hand clean hands obviously um, is Tom Ford Ombre Leather. So, here's the first one. There we go. Don't need to spray a whole lot because these are both very strong. And then, um, Tom Ford Ombre Leather, the original, the EDP. So the one I sprayed on my left hand is the Parfum version. This is the Udu Parfum version. So, I got my little samples. <laughs> Let's give this a squirt on this hand. And actually, let me spray a little more on the other hand. One more squirt. I think that's like a full squirt or a squirt and a half. I'm not sure how they rate the sample size squirts. All right, there you go. One and one. Okay, so let me tell you the difference on the note breakdowns. So the, ED, the EDP version of Ombre Leather, top notes are cardamom, middle notes is leather, jasmine sabac, and base notes is amber, moss, and patchouli. And that's the ED par, EDP version. Now the Parfum version, the top notes are violet leaf, cedar, Middle notes are Jasmine, Sabak, Oris, or Iris. Um, base notes are Leather, Woody Notes, and Tobacco. Alright. Those are the note breakdowns for those two fragrances. And I'll say, right off the bat, so this is the EDP and this is the Parfum. So the original smells very rich and very leather like like walk into a nice leather shop smell like all the nice expensive leather chairs that's what i'm getting from it and then the opening on this one is a little sweeter kind of floral a little bit like buttery and fruity i don't know where i'm getting the fruitness from the fruit smelling but that's what i'm getting from it and also you have like the leather kind of in the background. But I'm sure like as they dry down, it's gonna change a lot more, but yeah, that's what I'm getting from it. It's like florals, a little bit buttery from the iris, and leather with some fruit. And this one is just pure leather, like a nice leather chair, sweet leather chair. Yeah, this is definitely like straight up leather. But yeah, so I'll come back later and let you know how the dry down works and I'm gonna take it to the store and let people smell it and whatnot. So yeah, I'll be right back. Catch you guys later in a little bit. <laughs> All right, so I'm back. Back from at the end of the day today. So as I promised, I'll give you the dry downs on both. So my left hand is the new version of Ombre Leather, the Parfum version. And on my right hand was the original Tom Ford Ombre Leather. So yeah, I took this to the store and had people smell each hand. And I did about 10 people, so I tried to make it even, so I did five girls and five guys. And surprisingly, seven out of ten preferred the new version 
the Ombre Leather Parfum. And yeah, this one was not a winner with uh, people at the store today. <laughs> so for me, I kind of prefer the original over the new version. This one's slightly more mass appealing, I guess more unisex, I guess, because I mean, seven out of 10 preferred this one over this one, so. And most of them could see themselves wearing this one, the new version, the Parfum version. I mean, I like it. I'm still getting used to the violet and the iris. It's just different. So performance wise, this one is definitely a winner. This one's still strong very strong uh, a lot of people said this was like more dark and dense which is right because I mean this is a parfum version and this is just an EDP so performance wise this one's gonna have, obviously outlast this one well depending on your skin type too I guess in your DNA but on my skin this one is still very strong and the weird thing about it too on like the mids of this one it was hard to tell the difference between these two on the mid for about, I don't know, 30, 35 minutes. You couldn't smell the difference between either one of these, which I thought was pretty weird, pretty unique and cool, like how it changed like that. But then on the dry downs, you can definitely smell the difference between these two. This one smells like a rich leather chair, you know, very leather fragrance like a bad boy leather fragrance, if I can say. And this one is a little bit on the lighter side. With some little like sweet florals with it. With the, the jazz, cause this has jasmine and uh, violet, I believe. But yeah, so this one was a winner with the population out there today. <laughs> But let's go over the notes again real quick if you missed it from earlier. So the original of um, Ombre Leather, the top notes are cardamom, middle notes are leather and jasmine sabak, and base notes are amber, moss, and patchouli. And on the new version of the Ombre Leather Parfum, the top notes are violet leaf and cedar, middle notes are jasmine sabak and iris, and base notes, base notes are leather, woody notes, and tobacco. So yeah, uh, in my opinion, I still like the OG a little bit, slightly a little bit better. I'm not saying I don't like this one. Oh, I actually really like this. But this one, if I had a choice, I would wear this one before I wear this one. So that's my two cents and my thoughts on Town Four's Ombre Leather Parfum. So anyways, what are you wearing today? And as always, stay smelling fresh everyone. Peace.